All right, this one's going to be quick because I gave somebody a little bit of misinformation. Um, guy got a uh, Black Cat JB76, a.k.a. JB200, two-piece amp. She's all open up. And I was saying with the bias on those, they got so many different configurations that it's hard to figure out. And, and you know, sometimes they run the bias to the relay, sometimes they don't. But... That's more true of the JB12s and the 150s. Uh, the JB76, aka JB200, they got a few configurations, but they're very similar. And they don't run the bias through the relay, I don't think, on the JB76, JB200. They only run the screen through the relay to cut the tubes off and stand by. Uh, and you key the relay and it turns on the screen and turns on the tubes they don't use the bias to that to do that so it's a fixed bias and this is the schematic and right there is the um, the bias circuit this is the transformer windings that's the um, rectifier diode uh, half wave rectifier the other side is grounded so you get a half wave of AC uh, negative AC the way the diode is orientated coming through here that's a filter cap right there dropping resistor and this here is not a very good picture of it because it's supposed to have a little leg going up there too like it got this one going down but that's a Zener diode right there and that's a just a little cap put in there to, to stop stray RF from coming back that's what this coil does too um, I've said before that coils like this, you know, uh, 56 microhenry, um, these uh, allow DC to go through, but won't allow RF to go back. So basically, uh, you got your DC here, which is um, 32 volts coming through the choke, and it goes up. And around and around and into the input tuner. And it goes through the input tuner. And then the RF is actually on this side of the input tuner. But that's a transformer. So the RF jumps over here and is combined with the uh, 32 volts. Even though it says 64 here. That's a misprint. Because actually it's 64 on uh, this side. You see the 64 here. Then the dropping resistor and the zener drop that to 32 volts, and that's 32 across. So Black Cat did some weird things. Sometimes I think they did on on purpose to um, throw people off and keep people out of their boxes. But anyway, um, the DC 32 comes up through this choke and into pin five of the tube. The RF jumps through the input tuner. Or you can say input transformer in another way and um, combines with the DC and goes to pin 5 and that's your negative bias it's going to be there um, 30 negative 32 volts negative 32 volts should be there at all times but that's the schematic here it is in the amp the Zener diode is in the power supply and this is that circuit right here um get down there see if I can zoom in there it is this guy partially hidden right here is the power supply diode that's the uh, AC coming in power supply diode um, comes over here to the dropping resistor Here's the uh, capacitor for the uh, negative, uh, that would be 32 on that side. And here is, somebody put two uh, Zeners in series on this one. Maybe they did that to get more watts out of them or do it in, because um, um, maybe they didn't have a 32 volt Zener. So they put two 16s or maybe a... Uh, 20 and a 12 who knows um, but anyway this one got two zeners in series well normally you're gonna have one smaller zener 
somewhere around here and it may be hidden on the back side of this I've seen it but that's where your zener is going to be in the power supply and it's going to be connected to this um, dropping resistor and this cap and that's your negative bias and it goes through the cable and it comes in to the RF deck and it goes through that that's a choke um, let's go over here and I said that 56 micro Henry choke that lets the um, DC go through but blocks the RF from going out that's the choke there so the um, negative 32 is going to go through there and then over here into your input tuner and then out the input tuner I think it's this black wire here and into pin 5 of the tubes and that's your negative bias if you're missing that or the zener shorts or you know you're not getting your bias through the connection or whatever um, those tubes are cherry that's the only way I know those tubes are cherry is that they don't have the negative bias on them you know this is a tetrode amp the black hats are um, and I say they're turbo turbocharged and that um, zener that negative bias it's like a water cooler, like an inner cooler. So that inner cooler is what um, tames down or cools or keeps those um, turbocharged tubes from running amok. And if you don't have that negative bias, they're going to run full bore, wide open, and they're going to cherry and overheat and cause you all kind of headaches and grief, all because of the negative bias. And the negative bias is a very common problem in the um, Black Cat modulator amps, the JB76, 150, and the JB12. If it's doing too many watts, cherrying, you can't turn it down, uh, uh, it's just going full bore like crazy, you're missing the bias somewhere. And in the JB12, 150, they send it through the relay sometime. They got two stage bias, they got, you know, 20 different versions of them, so it's a lot harder to trace than it is in the JB76, JB200. So I hope that helps you guys. That's it for this one. Bye.